I absolutely hate day jobs. And it's not because I'm lazy. It's, it's not because I don't want to work, because I just want to sit around all day. It's because I value my time and what I do with my life. And I'm taking responsibility because too many people will sit there and complain about their day jobs, but then keep going to it day in, day out, and do nothing about it. I've consistently looked for a better job while also working on my dream job every single day for a while now. For the longest time, I didn't look for a better job, and I could probably do better at that, but at the same time, I don't... I don't believe I need to look for a better job. I, I just need to keep focusing and working harder or, or smarter on how I can make money for my dream job as a singer-songwriter and vegan activist. And I'm figuring that out daily. I've, I've been producing better songs and actually using BandLab rather than a, a video editor <laughs> to create music. I've been looking taking a hard look at myself and seeing what I can do to create better music that is more relatable, that's still authentic to me, but more relatable to people so I can grow a fan base and start making a living from this. And that's what I got to do. You you might have your, your own specific thing and your own dream job thing that you got to do. Hi, Kitty. Kitty always comes in these videos. <laughs> so... Yeah, I um, I mean, day jobs are alright. It would be alright. I would probably enjoy most of the day jobs I had if I didn't have these aspirations and this deep desire to do something else. To be a performer and an activist with my original music. And it probably wouldn't hurt so bad if I haven't already experienced pockets of success as a street performer. If I haven't already experienced impacting people's lives and just the pure joy of creating music and performing it for people. And I've, I've already been a full-time street performer and made enough money for months at a time, but then it gets cold, winter comes, I can't street perform anymore. And I've already seen, obviously, my channel grow, my fan base grow, and just in person, like, people know me in general, or, or my street persona, Z-Man, in Colombia, and they're starting to know me in St. Louis. So, all of that, all of that minor success, is what we'll call it, has only made me crave it more and more, and made me work harder. Which also makes being at the day job for eight hours straight painful, because it, you know, I feel like I'm wasting my time, but I gotta think about how I need to fix my car, and I, I need to pay child support, and I, I need to pay car payments. I got bills, and I, I'm currently not making enough money from my dream job to do that. And so, you got to take responsibility and do those things. And too many times I've, I've put those on hold for a month or two because I've been optimistic that in like three months, I'll be able to catch up because I've been thinking, oh, I'm working so hard on my dream job. I'm working so hard on music and making better videos. And by then, I got to be able to make more than enough money and catch up. But I've never had a clear path or like plan where it's like I knew for sure that I'd be able to make that money. And with these day jobs, you know, if you work, a certain amount of hours, you make a certain amount of money. And so, although every single year and every single time I, I do this and I quit my day jobs and I dive into my dream job or I'm, I'm working on my dream job on the side, I do get closer. I do make more, more money each year. So it's just a matter of time. As long as I keep doing this, I will succeed. But it's very painful spending even one day at these day jobs for me because I always feel like there's something else I could be doing and it 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 does keep me curious and keep me working hard but it, it makes me think like there's there's gotta be one person I could meet or like one place that I could go and perform or just something that would finally 
give me the big break to do this for a living. But that, that mindset is very faulty at times. It keeps me optimistic and going. Um, and it keeps it feeling fresh. But it's almost delusional because you can't expect just like one person or one thing to finally break you through to the other side. It could happen if you're very lucky. What? You disagree? Oh, you don't like the kitty? Don't eat the kitty. <laughs> the puppies disagree. They think uh, they think luck. Luck is the way. You'll get the big break. Are you trying to be a singer? <laughs> so, are you guys going out to your dreams? What do you think? Do you have a plan uh, that's that's very precise? And you know, I think you shouldn't rely on luck at all. Um, it can happen, but. What you should do is just focus on what you can do daily, every single day, and do as much of that as possible. For me, it's creating music, reaching out to pockets of vegans and communities that I think would vibe with my music and activism, and work at this day job until I can fix my car, and so I can pay child support and car payments. Although... The first couple months, I think I need to focus on my car, to fix my car, so I can start pick, pick, picking up my son, and car and, and child support. Uh, I'm not sure about car payments, but hopefully they don't repossess my car. I'll figure it out. I gotta make more money, I gotta work more hours at these day jobs, and then fix my car, and then, and then I can start creating better videos and start street performing and going into St. Louis and then from that things will start to snowball even more. It drives me crazy that it's it's up like up in the air like you don't really know. And it also drives me crazy that I'm barely making enough money to do any of these things. Fix my car, pay child support, pay car insurance, pay like uh drives me crazy. It's going to take like five years of working at these day jobs and working on my dreams on the side, which I just can't stand. I, I can't stand doing that. I believe I can do more, and that's why I keep quitting my day jobs. But this time, I got to at least fix my car. And yeah, the, I, I do have a couple other like side hustle things that... I'm doing like selling the scrap metal from the junkyard and my dad offered for me to sell some of his old records on, on Facebook and uh, and help with a bunch of metal which will help fix my car and also help me put more money towards child support which is very very important obviously but y'all know I believe I can do both I can be there for my son and I can live my dreams. And I'm not giving up on either one. So what do you think? What are you going to do? Do you have a child that you have to be there for? Or do you have a dream that you want to live? Leave a comment down below. For the animals! Woo!